have already washed this in a blue watercolor. It's very faint um, on purpose. And also, there, I did it a little fast, and it looks like there's some smears and things, but I did that on purpose because it looks more like a sky. The different shades and clouds, and you know, it's never, the sky is never just blue. So I like all the different shades and the variations in it. So now I'm just going to draw some grass and tulips on here to paint. The grass I'm not doing up and down. I'm just going to do this and make it green, paint it green later. All right, and I'm going to put some tulips on there. I'm going to do the top part first. So, you know, any drawing is just about the shapes. Right. So that's my tulip. And tulips usually grow straight. They usually have a thick, straight um, stem. I don't even know if they have leaves or not. I can't remember. But this one does. All right. There's one. Um, I don't know. Maybe I will just put one. Let's see. This is Saturday and Sunday. So I think I'll put one there and one here to separate the, the page. I'll make this one a little lower. doing leaves that way. So I'm putting that under so it doesn't leak. And I'm just going to use this green dry watercolor. Well, it's not dry now. And I'm using this number six Winsor & Newton brush. Winsor & Newton are my favorite brushes. They just flow like the other brushes don't. And I learned recently that the longer the bristles, the more water it holds, you know, and the more paint it holds, so your brush doesn't dry out as quickly the longer the bristles are. So that's a good little piece of information to know. Just these easy, quick paintings are fun. No pressure. Um, so I really love doing this. It's like coloring, you know, how it's a stress reliever. Especially now with all these um, adult coloring books you see. It's because it's true, it really works. Art is healing. For the tulips, I am going to use Dr. P.H. Martin's liquid watercolors. This is Sunrise Pink, and this is Brilliant Cadmium Red, which looks orange, but that's what Cadmium Red is. So, and with these liquid watercolors, you just need such a small, small amount. So just one drop, that's it. Water. 
Well, it's not as bright as I remember it being. Maybe I added too much water. It's called sunrise pink, so maybe maybe it's light on purpose. It's almost translucent, um, like the sunrise or the sunset. That is a pretty pink. It really is. All right. Now I'm going to use the cadmium red for the other one. One drop. I thought that would be a lot brighter than that one. The light color though is nice. Um, I don't know, I might add some a little bit darker. This is deep red rose. I just want that to be darker. We'll put it right in with it. Ooh, it's a lot darker. Oh, it's more of a pink. Trying to get orange, but oh well. How much we go and mess something up? So we have a light pink and a dark pink. Not what I was going for. I was going for kind of an orange for this one, but that's okay. Next time. Okay, I'm going to use this green, fallow green. I want to do a different shade than that. I have a feeling, though, that this might be bluish. Does look a little blue. Well, I don't know. Let's try adding a little bit of yellow to make it just a little bit brighter. Not much, barely a drop. Yeah, that's a little better. It just has a bluish tint to it. Okay. The liquid watercolors just seem to flow so much better. When I do one of the background washes with the dry watercolors, it just never comes out as smooth. So it really, you know, I believe in using what you have, but if you have the choice to use liquid watercolors or the dry liquid, it's just so much more smooth. See how smooth that goes on. It's just something about the consistency of it. Oh, that's pretty. Now I'm going to write the days on it. It's Saturday and Sunday. Well, actually, the lines for the days to go on, and then a line for the date. Okay, now what color? I think I will just use black. 
this Micron, Micron 05. All right, Saturday. Actually, I'm gonna do it in pencil first because I've been messing up on it lately. Just to get my spacing right. I think the day I will write in bright pink. Where's my bright pink? There it is. And it will be March 13th. Sunday. I'm going to do the same thing again. Some days my spacing is just off. Things getting off even with the guide. Oh well. Oh, that'll do. 